Hill, so I have this friend that I have a crush on. And I think this friend likes me, but hasn't said that. What do I do? Does a friend have a name? Lucia. That's a pretty name. Tell me more about her. Well, she's an eighth grader. Mm -hmm. She's smart. She has a nerdy sense of humor like me. She doesn't take crap from anyone. Are you surprised? I mean, I'm surprised you're having feelings for somebody since you're always so busy trying to save the world. <laughs> but no, I'm not surprised that you're gay. I mean, I'm attracted to girls, but I haven't totally ruled out boys, which is why I'm afraid to tell mom and dad because I haven't got it figured out and I don't want them to think that I'm just in some phase, you know? You're 12. You don't have to have everything figured out. And you don't have to tell anybody if you don't want to. But I'm happy you told me. Hey everyone, it's Anthony Allen Ramos. All right, so Bel Air on Peacock is of course the uh, based on the 90s culture defining sitcom, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And this series is continuing to bring forth very important conversations. On one of the most recent episodes, the youngest member of the family, Ashley Banks, comes out to her sister, Hillary, as questioning. Very important conversation, we'd love to see it. And I'm so excited to chat with Akira Akbar, who plays Ashley, Coco Jones, who plays her sister Hillary, and then the showrunners, TJ Brady and Rashid Newsom. How are you all? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. great, thank you. I love that. So wait, I got, okay, Akira, I'm gonna come to you. I mean, this was a very special episode. Um, like I said, this is such a beloved series uh, and continuing these really important conversations. So. When you got this and you realized that this was going to be a part of, of, um, of Ashley's story, you know, just curious, what was your reaction? Because, you know, we are in life seeing more younger people really um, identify with being part of the community earlier and earlier on. Well, when I first got the script, I wasn't that surprised because during my audition process, they told me, you know, Ashley would probably have to go through this thing, through these things. And so I think I was more so excited for people to see Ashley in this new light and for people to find something that they can relate to. I love that. And then Coco, um, you play, of course, the sister. And what I love so much about the scene is, is uh, Hillary's reaction. You're like, okay, very much like, no problem. It's not a big deal. Tell me about what it was like for you to kind of get a part of telling this story. Because I do think, especially for communities of color, these are important conversations to have. Yeah, I think for me, um, I really tapped into my own um, relationships with my siblings and how I always want them to feel like they've got support in me um, and they have someone to confide in. So for me, I really liked the way that Hillary and Ashley bond in this moment because it is intimidating sometimes to tell your truths but you want to know that you always have a listening ear and a non-judgmental ear. So I was excited to portray that and portray that maternal instinct as well that I feel like naturally comes out in me because I'm one of four siblings. Um, so I thought the whole scene was really well written and um, I was, I'm excited for people to see it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Rashid, got to come to you. I mean, what is, you know, it's, what does it mean to, you know, like how important was it for you to put this kind of LGBTQ inclusion in this series? Because like I said, there was so much anticipation around it. And, you know, we're obviously really happy that you, you, you know, went on with this opportunity. I mean, as a gay man throughout my entire writing career, I've always wanted to tell LGBTQ stories. And, and so to finally be, you know, show running the show with TJ, it was, it seemed very natural. Um, it's a large family. They've got a lot of kids. Chances are someone in the family is going to be LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. um, and so really well, the question is, who was it going to be? And we settled on Ashley because she is the youngest in the family. And because these questions happen, uh, or, or the, the, uh, the discovery of sexual identity happens at a young age. And we wanted to sort of go the distance with this story. Completely. Um, and then you know, TJ, for you, I think, you know, it was obviously very intentional. Ashley, you know, if she's questioning. She's not sure. She's a young girl. She's like, you know what? I'm, you know, I, I, I don't know yet. And so what was the, um, you know, tell me about the decision, because you obviously could have gone many directions with that. You could, she could have been bisexual. She could have been a lesbian. She could have identified as queer. Tell me about why that was kind of the avenue that you, um, you envisioned for this character. Well, a lot of my own experiences dealing with LGBTQ friends uh, throughout my life, 
in my experience and in their experiences that they shared, it was never cut and dried. Uh, I know some people wake up one day and they know exactly who they are and what they are and what that all means. But the experiences that I've had and my friends have had have been more of a journey. And that's what we wanted to reflect, you know, this, these feelings and what do they mean? And these labels and what they mean and what kind of labels do I have to put on myself? Um, you know, people of all different sexualities on the spectrum go through varying um, levels of intensity when it comes to, to all these questions. And that's what we wanted to explore. We wanted to explore a character who was trying to figure it all out and choose the labels for themselves as opposed to having, you know, one size fits it's all label put on them and, and discover that journey. The, if I can also add, the other thing about uh, you know, making her questioning is for a lot of people, that's a phase we all go through. Like whether you ultimately find out if you are a lesbian or bi or gay, at some point you'd start it with a question. There are heterosexuals who question and then you know, may decide that they're heterosexual. So it really was a good part where you could talk about a phase in sexual identity that a lot of people have experienced. Yeah, and I think, you know, I, we always say, glad there is, you know, there's no rules for coming out and, you know, everyone's journey is different. So um, that makes a lot of sense. Um, Akira, for you, you know, you're a young person yourself, but I think there's a big opportunity here for other young people to see uh, this storyline. What do you hope that they take away from, you know, seeing Ashley coming out as questioning? I hope that young kids like me, um, can take away from Ashley's journey to not be afraid. I feel like, um, you know, a lot of people, they like to keep it to themselves, but I think it's not easier, but like, it would be good for them to tell someone, <laughs> you know. No, completely. Um, and that's the power of representation. So um, Coco, coming back to you, I mentioned earlier, I think when it comes to the LGBTQ community, there are still very important conversations that need to be had, um, especially when talking about communities of color, just, you know, with acceptance. What do you hope that people, you know, that see this storyline, especially the bond between Ashley and Hillary when it comes to this, what do you hope that they take away from this? Um, I really hope that they open their mind. I really hope that they look at the people they love and um, and show them that they are supported no matter their, no matter who they are. Like there's nothing that isn't accepted when you love someone, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I think with this storyline, I think it's it's amazing to have that that theme of just support. And I want more people who watch this show to continue to, to spread that support and to, um, to spread understanding as well. Did you want to any, add anything to that? Um, I'm hoping that people who watch the storyline will also understand that sexual identity is, the, they, they, they kind of focus on the word sex and not the word identity. It's about expressing yourself as a person. It's about being able to live your truth. It's not always about sex. Uh, one reason we're doing this story with Ashley is, you know, the character's 12 years old. She's not interested or having sexual relationships, but she is grappling with her identity. And that's, that's, that's an important part of this because I think unfortunately people sort of take it to the bedroom and we're talking about an identity that, that, that goes with you everywhere you go in life. And that's why it's so important. That's why it's so vital. I also hope people take Ashley's, um, they, they sort of follow her model, which is she's done a very important thing. She's found someone who cares about her and loves her, who she can trust, who she can confide in, and who she can talk to as she continues to uh, explore her sexual identity. Okay, so TJ, the, the next question then is, how are we gonna see this play out? Because now we know that she's had this important conversation with her sister. But there's a lot of family members. Um, what what can you tell us of what's ahead? I think uh, we are doing our best on this show to do justice to the story, to the character, and the journey. And the reality that I have been privileged to share with with friends of mine is that it's not a, a quick or fast process. 
a lot goes into it. Um, I think what people can expect is it will unfold in a realistic, real life amount of time, which means not resolved necessarily uh, one season, let alone one episode. It's an ongoing journey um, as this information, um, you know, percolates in the character's head and then slowly makes its way outward. And we want to really stress that that prerogative lies with the individual. That lies with Ashley, and and it should. They should be allowed to to tell their own story in their own time when they're ready. I agree more. Akira, how did you prepare for this? Um, you know, curious, did you have any conversations with any of maybe some of your LGBTQ friends or family? You know, what did you do to kind of get ready for this pivotal uh, scene for your character? Well, I know a lot. I know quite a lot of people in the LGBTQ community, um, especially one of the directors for episode six. She, Aurora Guerrero, she, um, Help, she kind of like told me her journey and that kind of helped me a little bit like, okay, hmm. I think this is how I'm going to play it out. She kind of helped me, <laughs> um, hold on, I'm kind of searching for words. Um, no, that's great. So you got to hear her personal story and that kind of helped yeah. you get into the space of being able to portray that. I completely understand what you're saying. Yes, yes. Um, Coco, I think, you know, obviously allyship is so important. Why is it important for you to be, you know, a vocal supporter of the LGBTQ community? Because you know what, we can't hear it enough because times are, are tough for a lot of our, um, our members of our community, especially for trans women of color um, right now. So, you know, why is allyship so important? Allyship is important in general because even if we have different journeys, we all are human beings and we all have a similar life and all have similar experiences. And honestly, allyship is about learning and growing and coming together. And really, I think that's that's the goal of the world. Like if, if everyone could just put down their preconceived notions and just seek to have empathy and understanding, this world would be a much better place. Because at the end of the day, everybody just wants to be loved and to love. So, you know, that should be the theme. That should be okay. Absolutely. Rashid, last question for you. You know, thinking about, you mentioned, you know, being a gay man, can you imagine, what would it have meant to you if on the original Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you would have turned your TV on and seen one of the, one of the characters, one of the family members, you know, identify as part of the LGBTQ community? What impact would that have had, do you think? That would have been groundbreaking. That would have been wonderful. Um, I, I'm, always a little dubious about the impact that TV and movies can have on issues like this. I, I don't know that we change laws, but I do think we can spark conversations in, in households. And that's where a lot of this needs to start. I think for people to, to be watching a show, um, it's great to see representation. It's also a kind of, it's a good litmus test for the people around you. If the people around you watch the show and are supportive and open to that character, it opens the door for you to say, you know what, I've been having the same feelings or I've been experiencing the same journey. Um, and I think that is important. I think a lot of times when you are young and beginning to explore your sexual identity, your first job is just trying to figure out who can you trust around you. And so to have seen that played out in the show and seen how people around me responded to it meant I probably could have had some conversations years earlier than I had them. Yeah, and that's really, you know, what we do at GLAD, because we know, I mean, so much of, of what people, you know, their hearts and minds think is because of what they see on television and in film. So obviously super important to have inclusive storylines like this. Be the will who charmed West Philly with his talent and swag. Let the music diffuse all attention. no going back. Well, thank you all. It's been a pleasure. And just a reminder, everyone, you can check out Bel Air. It is streaming now on Peacock. And I can't wait to see what is ahead for Ashley and the rest of her journey. Uh, but thank you all so much.